the evolution of sex and life in China during 5,000 years. And zoom on the women holding a dick. Our car is cooler than yours. Our car would destroy that, that Ferrari. Oh yeah. Hey law winners, oh, didn't see you there. Celebrity 6 here with another video. I know you hate when I do that. Um, anyway, we are actually, me and Prazi took a trip up to this mountain. It's called Dick Mountain, or Dan Shashian. I've been there on uh, the TV show I filmed with Winston conquering Southern China, but we came to find the other counterpart to the dick, and it's actually the, how can I say, uh, just say it, the vagina. Um, also, we've heard that there might be other kind of genitalia or private part mountains on the way, and I don't want this to come off as childish, but that's kind of what people do around here. They bring their families to come see these genitalia-shaped mountains. But the coolest thing about this is if you watch the video, you're going to see that we discovered a Ming Dynasty tomb. And that is something you rarely, rarely find in mainland China on the top of this mountain. So stay tuned. Basically, what happened there, as you guys should know, basically these motorcycle taxis, they'll hang out outside of any tourist destination. And they'll, uh, they'll tell you that you don't need to buy a ticket to go inside. And they're like, oh, we'll take you in there. Basically, what'll happen is they'll bring you way out of the way, like way to the, the middle of nowhere, and then they'll be like, okay, give me like a thousand kwai, yeah. or I won't take you back. Yeah. Seriously, you gotta watch out for people like that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go on up, what do you say? Yeah. Dick okay. Badge Mountain. Why, why are there dinosaurs next to the beautiful mountains? I don't know why. Why? Like, who thought? Hey, let's make it kind of period, a haka looking building. Let's put some freaking dinosaurs on it. They literally, for stinky tofu advertisement, literally, stinky tofu advertisement, Yeah. they are playing Justin Bieber as a theme There's song. There's nothing that spoils a good traditional Chinese moment than Justin <laughs> Bieber in the middle of the goddamn jungle. Says you. <laughs> How much is it, Prezi? 300. It's ridiculous. Arm and a leg and a dick to get up here. <laughs> 50 bucks for the two of us. There's a, a minority here called the, I think, the Tuhua. I don't want to make any mistakes, but it's funny, like, you'll see them walking down these paths, and they're actually just coming down from the mountain villages, and they're using the tourist destination. They actually don't have to pay to get in and out. So I imagine one day they're like, holy shit, we don't have to walk down these treacherous cliffs anymore. <laughs> what we're actually doing, joking aside, is uh, if you guys haven't seen Conquering Southern China, go check it out, uh, discount code Low Winning. But we went to this place called Dick Mountain, which we're right here right now. Holy shit! What? It's so steep, I'm so tired. Anyway, so, fuck with me. Anyway, we went here and we filmed Dick Mountain because it is a mountain shaped like a dick. I'm not trying to be vulgar. And kids and grandmas and everyone comes here to basically um, pray to the dick to see, uh, to try to get a son. So if you can't have a son, you come to Dick Mountain and then you have a son. But what we had to do, we were on a tight schedule and we were filming. So what we ended up doing was uh, just filming the dick and then leaving. But we found out later that if you do the whole trail, there's actually a vagina mountain, which is weird. And you go there to pray if you want a girl. Anyway, we're gonna actually do the whole thing, if I can manage, because I'm sick as hell. But we're gonna finish this shit. You guys might find this a little inappropriate. Like I said, there's grandmothers, grandfathers, and children hanging out with a giant stone penis. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's totally normal behavior. Family fun. Yeah. For everyone. Hey, Brazzy, you're a dickhead. <laughs> I, have, I have, next time you say, don't call me that, I'll say, I have video evidence, no, no, bro. Dude, we, we've come across something very special. Uh, change in plans, we're first going to Breaststone. Yep. Absolutely, positively. I didn't know there was also Breaststone, so there's all of the anatomy. There, there just needs to be like an ass stone. Yeah. But there probably is. Anyway. I'm like, kind of, because it wasn't here last time, or I didn't see it last time, I'm kind of half expecting the breaststone to just be like a Tyrannosaurus Rex painting on a wall with tits. 
It looks like it has a giant mouth kind of at the bottom. It's a dick mouth. Like, ah. I'm the dick! <laughs> I'm the dick! Call massive, massive bullshit on that one. I didn't see any stone titties. Apparently, we passed it, and there was those two humps which I caught on film, but I didn't think those were tits. I mean, the dick is like, yeah, that's a dick. That's but the that, tits? That was a surefire dick. But right. I mean, like, the tit, yeah, I mean, because I feel like we're, we, we live in a very mountainous place. There's to tons and tons of humps. Yeah, I know. You can't just say, hey, walk 250 meters, waste all of your energy, you sick boys. Go oh, yeah. see the tits. Oh, there's none. <laughs> this is Trump's wall. It's not finished yet. She's wearing a bag on her head. She is like actually wearing a bag on her head. Rosie, tell me the story of the actual uh, Stone Dick Mountain, Stone Dick Cave, or Stone Vagina Cave, sorry. Is that it? That looks awfully find it? like a vagina. Well, we can, let's go inside. I hope I don't get sucked in. Oh my God, it's scary, dude. I bet they do. Dude, make a light. Dude, I'm wicked claustrophobic right now. Dude, it's totally a cave. Oh my god. Dude, I'm in the womb. It keeps going, dude. I guarantee it. I can hear him. That's totally bats, dude. Dude, I want to keep going. Oh, I have my sunglasses on. Yeah. That's why I couldn't see. Ooh. There's holes in the wall and I hear noises. I bet wasps and shit live in here. Dude, it keeps going. Like if you crawled in through that hole, I am not doing that. You're getting reborn. You realize you're getting reborn, right? Yeah. Woo! Oh, I feel like a new man. I feel like I could do anything now. We've been reborn. I know. Badge cave. Tick. Tree to 17 meters tall. Branches with lenticles. Glabrous. Leaves, leathery. Flowers, minocious. Frazi said that uh, this reminded him of a place where you'd see tigers, and he's absolutely correct because this area is where Chinese tigers kind of hung out. It's around the Hunan. Hanging out. It's a tiger. <laughs> Hanging out. It was in the Hunan and Guangdong area. Tigers used to be chilling, but it was in the 1970s that the last one was killed. Can't do this anymore. For, for God's sakes, it's taking the piss. I mean, everyone loves to watch vlogs about. Two out of shape white boys walking around China being sarcastic and hungover. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Great viewing. So, this is there's an ancient Taoist uh, dude. He was famous for riding cranes. When he entered the gate covered by clouds, he was guided by a white deer and then he found this treasure land of Shijian. And Prazi literally just complained that it, said, it doesn't say when he did that. Because it didn't happen. He rode on cranes in the clouds, guided by a white deer. Yeah, when? <laughs> it's very, very rare in China that you actually get to see cool stuff like ancient monk stuff. And this is actually an ancient uh, tomb of a monk that was abandoned uh, during the, the Nationalist Republic of China, so the Kuomintang era. But anyway, these are the ruins. It's kind of cool to be able to find this kind of stuff. I feel like Tomb Raider. Yeah, it's like properly rated. It's there's no rating to be done anymore. It's pretty cool though. Look at this area. The fact that you have to tell people not to draw on an ancient Taoist cave, like temple, is pretty sad. But then there's that kid, that Chinese kid that went to uh, Egypt, that drew on like the pyramids or whatever. So I guess you have to tell people that sometimes. So I'm being, I was being a badass, and I went up the place you're not supposed to go, and of course there's. This and shit and toilet paper here. Very nice. But it is kind of cool. I'm on like the ancient stairs right now. I feel like Indiana Jones or something. Whoa, yeah, this is definitely, definitely gotta come down here, Proz. I am freaking hugging this wall right now because this is really scary. It's just a treacherous drop down the other side. With nothing but vines to hold here. This is, <laughs> this is pretty, I understand why they're not allowing people to go on this. Look at like straight down. It doesn't show how far it goes because there's trees and stuff, but it's it's freaking far. <laughs> You're gonna fall. I think this is the life choice for me. Found a nice little cave. Looks cozy and it's got an epic view of a seal, a little stone seal. Hey, I got a neighbor. Yeah, how's it going? You got a cave? 
Nice. Mine is a maxi pad. I got obviously got the vag cave. Yeah. You got the like ass cave. That's actually just shit there. There's this human feces in an ancient temple. I don't want to go off on a tangent, but like, it's, who shits in an ancient Taoist temple? Like, for real. I'm not blaming China, I'm just saying like, whoever did that, like, go kill yourself, seriously. Not only are these rock formations absolutely incredible, but there's all kinds of really, really cool stuff, like ancient tombs and stuff, and I had absolutely no idea. I'm so glad we got to explore this place. It's freaking awesome. Ming Dynasty stuff, so we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. There were monks living up on these mountains, and you can almost imagine their inspiration every time they woke up and saw you know, these kind of views. You can actually see a little temple up on the top of that one. It's freaking awesome, guys. If you have a chance to come to Xiaoguan, definitely come to Dan Xiaxian. It's really, really cool, and it's not just about the dick mountain. Prezi, prezi, I'm prezi, I'm an ancient monk. I'm gonna sit at my table. What's for dinner? Pillage. <laughs> Fried pillage. At this point, I've seen a lot of caves that look like vaginas, and I'm just gonna call it a, a draw. You, you win. No, you don't win. It's a draw. We're even, Mountain. I saw a lot of vagina-looking caves, a lot of vagina-looking stones, butt stones, ass stones, dick stones. I think we've covered all the genitalia, and I think we're ready to go. To sum it up with Prazi, I think the most interesting thing thus far would in fact be these ancient awesome temples for sure. Yeah, I didn't expect them to be up here. Right. They didn't even, they didn't put that on any of the signs. So Prazi and I had an awesome time and I can't get enough of this ancient tomb temple thing. It's really, really, really cool. And uh, I hope you guys uh, didn't mind too much of our complaining on the way up. It was, I mean, we had a rough night last night, okay? But it was totally worth it. We covered almost every single point in this mountain range, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you so much to my patrons, thank you so much to the winners, and I'll catch you on the next one. Dude, what did you just find? That's just a freaking cliff. Oh man. Dude. You gotta take a picture of you. I will. Oh man. That's freaking scary, dude. How much do I have to pay you to jump? Well, nothing really. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord almighty, that's awesome.